All right, guys. So, No Sub Night 2 came out yesterday, and I already have some tips and tricks for you guys. Now, <clears throat> I will not be having some gameplay going on in the background because I'm having some trouble with my playback when I record my videos, so it'll be a little, really laggy if I do that, so I'm, I'm going to be trying to get that fixed soon. So hopefully I can make some videos of Nonstop Night 2 gameplay soon. But anyway, back to the tips and tricks. I have three of them, and this would be, you need to know your skills and enemies. So what I mean by that is you need to know what type of skill damage you're using in your skills. And you need to know your enemy weaknesses, particularly bosses, because bosses have a particular type of damage. For instance, a fire damage boss, you would want to use ice damage for that because that means they're weak to ice. And then ice damage boss, they're weak to fire. So that's pretty much all you need to know for bosses, and they're pretty, pretty easy to beat, no matter how hard they are. Um, it's also important to upgrade your skill your skill damage on your cloak and stuff. I'm not exactly sure. I'm used to non sub night, so I'm not exactly sure which ones, which items have the skill damage you can upgrade, but you know what I mean by that. You need to upgrade that, and you can get more skill damage for your skills. So my second tip would be don't be afraid to go ahead without keys. Now, keys are used to open chests, obviously, and while you don't get chests when you don't have keys, it's really a, it's a good way to find out how strong your current hero is and how long you can go with them. And it, it's okay if you don't want to play without keys. That's I totally understand that. I'm fighting, I want to find out how strong I am when I don't have keys. You don't forget, you also get a key every 20 minutes. So you won't necessarily uh, get a chest, <laughs> never get a chest as long as you keep playing. But uh, just don't be afraid. It's, it's a really good way to find out how good you are right now. Uh, my third and final tip would be, if the enemy has an overall stronger power than you, you won't necessarily lose. So while they are going to be a lot stronger than you, the, it's always important to remember that the enemy is computer generated, and that means that they cast their spells in an automatic time, rather than your hero, where you can cast the spells whenever you want. So you need to take advantage of that, that's very important to remember. So if you're at skill level 60, and you're fighting a level 70 dungeon or boss, you can beat it really easily. Um, the only exception to that would be if you don't have a lot of skill damage, uh, that's kind of hard to do. You can't, you can't really beat that boss. But <clears throat> once again, it goes back to the first tip, which is you need to know what the damage of the boss is. So even if you lose to the boss the first time, it's a good way you, you kind of scout out the boss, and then you can trade out your skills after that. And then you, you can use those to take down the weakness of the boss, and you can win. Now, the, the, the hardest part of the boss, in my opinion, is the minions that are around him, because there's so many of them, it's, they kind of block him, and they block the damage that you try to deal to the boss. And that's the really only hard part about bosses. So, I mean, you, you use your own skills that you want to use, but I use all three of the fire, uh, original fire upgrades, or skills. Alright, well, I hope this helped you guys out. And uh, good luck to you guys in your non-subnate 2 dungeons.